cascading tower of boba skirt. You got like vanilla boba, straight <laughs> vanilla boba, all the way down to like taro. I don't know what this is, blueberry? Hello my beautiful spring bunnies, welcome back to my channel, this is Karina and as you can probably tell by the title of this video, we're going to be doing a Shein haul, but this is not just a regular Shein haul, this is my favorite Shein haul ever that I've done, and you guys know how much I've done, right? In addition to showing you some new items that I got from Shein this month, we will also be covering spring and summer trends for 2023, so make sure you watch the entire video because we're going to be doing ballet core, moto core, also 90s minimalism outfits. I know what you guys are thinking. Karina, are you for real right now? Are you suggesting a white t-shirt? Yes, I am. This looks like an ordinary t-shirt. It's not at all. This is by far, by far, the most opaque white tee I have ever come across. And I mean like in my life. And you guys know how many clothes I try on, right? So let me just put it on top of this black bralette to show you. See? I can't even, like, someone pick up my jaw from the floor. Excuse me, look at this. So this is from Dazzy, which is killing it as always. This is only six. 49, okay, this t-shirt everyone needs to grab one. This is the perfect length as well It's not one of those like itty bitty micro cropped baby tees it's actually a really decent classic length Which is great news for everyone out there who's so sick and tired of everything being cropped in case you guys do like the cropped white tee look No problem. I'm just gonna take a hair tie. Hi this ponytail style. So after you tuck in, you can turn around and tuck in the front as well. If you want it tighter, just tie it tighter at the back. Honestly, with the whole low rise jeans trend coming back in full force this spring and summertime, you guys are gonna want to invest in some longer length tops. I know it's gonna sell out faster than you guys can click on it, so just grab it right now. If you're watching this video on your phone, click more right here and then click show more to access all the links and prices and sizes that I'm wearing in this video. Okay, another huge 90s minimalism coming back element is we have long midi slash maxi denim skirts. Back on trend. No joke, you guys, I've been seeing it on so many celebrities. It's also starting to flood my TikTok and all of my reels, especially the ones with a slit down the middle here. You see how it's like a reverse V. And in terms of the footwear, we're gonna go for something a little bit more metallic, which is also a key trend. This is a pair of metallic sling bags, like a faux leathery pattern going on here. The thing with these is you can just wear it. You normally would wear a pair of sling bags, or I've seen people wear them with white socks as well. This is where I feel like you really need to just do what you feel most comfortable and what makes you feel the most confident in your outfit because we don't want to be just blindly copying trends without feeling good in our outfit. Right? So if you're looking at these and you're like, oh my god, that looks really weird. By all means, don't wear it. To match our heels, we're also gonna go with a silver bag. This bag, just look at it. What does this remind you of? Of course, we cannot complete our 90s minimalism look without some silver jewelry. So I'm gonna just pop one of these hoops on my ears. Okay, what do we think? I know I look a little bit weird right now with one foot. <laughs> Sock on and one foot sock off, but I want you guys to leave me a comment right now down below letting me know which look you perform more in terms of footwear. Just for good measure, I'm going to throw on a biker jacket for that biker core look. Okay, so it turns out I got two biker jackets which are identical, but one is a size large and one is a size small. So this is what the small looks like. Oh my god, I just realized this is lined on the inside, which is super rare for a biker jacket. Okay, I think I like large more, but you know what? I always go for the bigger one anyway. It's more relaxed fitting and I think it looks like a true kind of like boyfriend jacket, like you stole it from your boyfriend. By the way, you guys can find all my measurements in the description box, so make sure to check there to reference the sizing and stuff. Okay, so if you're not a fan of heels, you can also wear some gray ballet core socks with some gray shoes or any kind of white runners would work with this look as well. I'm sorry, I just love this outfit so much. I feel like it's so out of my comfort zone. Like, here's my comfort zone, and this outfit is like in outer space in Mars right now. I'm loving 
the fact that I had the courage to put this look together. Let me know if you guys absolutely hate it or if you appreciate trying new styles once in a while. Oh guys, if your feet is not full of ballet core outfits yet, it's about to be filled with ballet core outfits from me because personally it is right up my alley. I freaking love, love this theme so much. Okay, I know everyone is dying to know this. So I'm just gonna address it. I actually did some ballet lessons when I was a kid and I did two whole weeks of ballet. So I know all my positions, like your plies and your first and second and third positions. Not sure why that's relevant to fashion. The first ballet core outfit that I put together, I think it is so adorable. It is so, so cute. I feel like I'm just living my little girl fantasy life all over again. A little cute little satin corset top with a sweetheart neckline. And then it goes down the middle like this. And then the sides, you have these meshy long sleeves that actually has a little bit of a flare down here. So it makes it that much more like whimsical. It doesn't just like stop right at your wrist. Also, I freaking love this color. This is like a champagne beige color which goes perfectly with whatever bottom you have on. I'm just starting off with this black mesh skirt. Comes with a little drawstring detail here. It's pretty flary. So I just paired it with my Mary Jane's which I'm so excited about. I'm gonna be linking everything down below so do not forget to check the description box. And then when you're into ballet core, the most trendy way to style footwear is to wear something like thick white socks like this so you can scrunch them down so I think these are actually supposed to be like knee high socks which you can wear just like this but for the sake of ballet core we're just gonna scrunch everything down and then just wear your ballet shoes over so if you don't like to wear heels with this you guys can also go for flats if it's something that makes it easier to walk and I personally don't like flats I feel like whenever I'm walking outside in them I can always feel every crack of this pavement let me know if you guys have the same concerns about flats Ten years later. Okay, another ballet core outfit. So this one is a blue corset top with a super adorable white fluffy skirt. Because the blue clashes a little bit with these pink ribbons, I'm just gonna take them off. And you know what we're gonna do instead? I think we're gonna go for something like this. So I also got this from Shein and I was so blown away by the quality of this. Like it's not some flimsy material, it actually is thicker than my Chanel ribbon. It's like a really thick cloth material. So the back comes like this, a regular hair clip. So we can do something like this. Is it crooked? It's so easy to put on. At the same time, it can also be used for other stuff. Like let's say we want to do something like this, like a little Sailor Moon going on, or if we want to attach it to our skirt, have like a little side ribbon. I just think it's so multifunctional. The spring and summer is all going to be about fancy hair ribbons. So then for footwear, we are going to go with leg warmers. So leg warmers are something that you just throw over. It doesn't cover your foot. And we're going to be wearing these heels. Look. How gorgeous these heels are. They are so ballet core, but they are not flat. They actually have a little like ankle strap thing going on, but they're satin and they have a gorgeous little like ballet ribbon at the front here. Very multifunctional. You can wear these to a wedding, you can wear these throughout any formal occasion in spring and summertime. I'm trying not to flash you guys. Oh my god, I really need to like put some Vaseline on my heel area. It's like so dry, it's cracking like the Sahara Desert. Three hours later. So for the heel part, I like to cover it with the leg warmers like this to give it that more like laid back, lazy kind of feel. Yeah, so the only drawback, this part is kind of like meshy transparent, which is why I'm wearing one of those like chicken bras, sticky bras on the bottom here. Make sure that it's staying and not like peeking through from underneath here. So this skirt has two tiers, but in case you're really worried, do you go with an like, underwear that matches your skin color. I want you guys to rate this outfit and also the previous ballet core outfit. I just really want to know which one of these you guys vibe more with. I think I'm feeling more this blue one. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below. Also, okay, I almost choked. <laughs> Also, let me know if you want me to do a dedicated ballet core video. Honestly, you guys, I have collected so much stuff that I think I can do like an actual lookbook for ballet core. Let me know if that's something you want to see or if that's something a little bit that's too impractical for you. Let me know. I want to hear all of your thoughts. 
I don't want to take this off. Honestly, ballet core is just an excuse for me to live out my princess life, which is something I don't really get being a mom to two boys. <gasps> Shut up! I didn't say anything. I love this outfit so, so much. Also, another long maxi denim skirt. And this one has a little bit of a mermaid detail from the middle here. Like, it starts to flare out a little bit. It's not too dramatic. Very wearable. And I love the belt detail. So, this is a silver belt, which we're gonna see a lot of silver accessories in earrings, necklaces, belts, bags as well. Also, a little bit of a cargo detail with the pockets here. A little tip for you if you want your hips to like jet out like Kim K. Stuff like a sock or something something in your pockets. Ah, stuffed? Not stuffed. Okay, I personally don't like that look, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. <gasps> this top, oh my god, comes with arm warmers. Okay, it looks a little bit scratchy. I don't know why there's a giant S sizing tag on the side here, but we're gonna just try it on. Don't judge an arm cover by its cover. Haha, get it? Okay, it's a little tight. Oh, there's some holes. Okay, so it looks like this one that's on. I think it looks very cute. Oh my god. My arms are like barely chopsticks to begin with and it's a little bit tight for me. So I wonder if you size up, will the arm warmer size up as well? Okay, I love that it makes my boobs look huge. Oh my god. Okay, to amp up the glam factor, we're gonna go with this shiny headband. Look how shiny this is. This is so sparkly, I can die. Like look at this. Kind of feels like a tiara. Very suitable for a princess like me. <laughs> this is the finished look. Absolutely adore this outfit so, so much. I think this is a great spring outfit. What do you guys think? Love it? Hate it? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Okay, this is a very Barbie core outfit. Margot Robbie would be proud of this outfit. So this is actually a whole set. This comes like this. So this is a tube top. I don't think it's holding my boobs up. I don't think it's holding my bra up. It's not really doing anything except for being there, covering your assets. The skirt is also very loose. It just sits very nicely, comfortably on top of your waist. But this cardigan is actually my favorite. I think I might actually just keep the cardigan and pair the cardigan alone with some green gray pants or gray skirt. I think that would look so preppy. This is how the outfit looks like. Why am I so out of breath? I just went to the gym. Okay guys, so this is how the cardigan just looks like on its own. I paired it with some gray pleated skirt. So pink and gray is a combo that you can forever trust, okay? Pull out your notebooks right now, write this down. Any shade of pink will go with any shade of gray. Okay, what are we gonna do for a bag? Let's do this one. I feel like it's a really good complimentary color. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this pants look so good. Oh my god, I have such trouble finding pants that actually are long enough to cover all the way down to my heels. And I think this is one of their regular collections, so it's not like Shein tall or anything. I love the stripes going down the side. I think it's so vintage Nike slash Adidas. And it has kind of like a casual slash varsity slash street vibe to it. And I'm just gonna throw on this jacket over because I flippin' love this jacket so much. I actually wore it in my tights lookbook. So if you guys haven't checked it out, check it out right here. I have really unique and stylish waist style tights. I don't know, this is a cross between like a windbreaker and kind of like a real padded jacket. <gasps> okay, okay, so... Oh. I got it in a size small. This size is currently sold out. They have an extra, extra small and an extra small. This is from Dazzy. And you guys all know what to do when something you like is sold out on Shein. What do we do? We harass them in a really nice way. So Shein is really good at bringing back items due to popular demand. And I honestly think everyone should own this. This is so versatile. It has a hoodie. And despite it being cropped, it's actually very, very warm. The zippers run really, really smoothly. So there's pockets here. If I I can I would rate this like a 100 out of 10 for the price that you're paying for it it's really really good deal plus it looks so damn stylish so fashionable okay let's throw on some street footwear and see what it looks like <gasps> I love it I want to show you something okay you can fit a whole bestie in here oh my god you guys I just realized you know what this pants does not have pockets you know what it does have though the audacity to not have pockets. 
It's a crime, really. Oh, but I still like it, it's just so cool. This hoodie is so cozy. I can cry. Fleece on the inside, teddy bear on the outside, and it's warm too. Those from Glow Mode, which also have been killing it recently. Okay, so I just checked and I got this in a size large. It's currently sold out on the site. If you guys really like it, please, please make sure they bring this back. In fact, it really reminds me of a Lulu fleece hoodie that I have with drawstrings on the bottom here and at the top here so this is a glow mode romper slash bodysuit this is the one that looks really identical to the Aresia Divinity romper shut the f up this is so cute oh my god unbelievably how soft this is oh okay, yes i'm so sorry for all the profanities but this is literally how i feel when i first Put on this bodysuit. Can I just tell you my favorite part, okay? This part here, ladies, there is no seam down the middle, okay? Do you know what that means? No more camel toe. That's right, we are finally free to move around without being worried that there's gonna be a reverse mountain down there. Okay, so there's a seam at the back. And I am wearing underwear right now, which is why you can see a little bit through here. I'm not sure if you can see the edges. You can totally go without underwear if you choose to. Just pop on a liner before you do that to, you know, prevent any nasty things going on. But this is so stretchy. Like, this actually feels like second skin. This is an absolute must-have in any capsule wardrobe. Especially since we're going to spring and summer now, I feel like this deserves a good laser moment. Wearing these Ultra Girl Boss booties. I'm gonna go for this chunky metallic silver necklace are you guys even surprised there's another silver metallic bag in this haul i'm gonna go with some silver aviators okay guys i'm having so much fun styling this fit that i want to bring the attention back to this guy right here so just get it okay do yourself a favor you're not gonna regret it i promise you okay okay and none of the outfits so far are up your alley and your taste is more of the classic minimalistic simple classy outfit this one is for you this taupe top reminds me so so much of the Aritzia sculpt knit tops where you have a very exaggerated square neckline right here and then this is more of like a cap sleeve where it flows down to the middle of your palm which I'm really really happy about I hate it when sleeves just like abruptly end here like it just makes your arm look shorter than it is very breathable it's knit but it's so comfy and it doesn't suffocate you at all it's actually very open and breezy I think this is a really cool and thoughtful design so from the side it seems like there's a split V, but this actually makes for a lot easier of a time if you're trying to tuck it into your bottom. There's no weird bulge at the side here. For shoes, I'm going with the sling bag. Okay, so pointy toe shoes are going to make a gigantic comeback. This has got like a lace kind of like trim all over the side, which is super pretty. Pretty. Also a little bit of a lace embroidery here at the top. Overall, I just think it makes your outfit look that much more polished and put together if you're wearing something that has a sharper toe. Okay guys, thank you for watching this Shein haul. I hope the outfits weren't too out there for you guys. Let me know what you think of the outfits in the comments down below. And I'm so excited for next month's Shein haul, you guys. I will be going full on spring mode and I cannot Cannot wait for the weather to finally warm up so I can style some awesome spring outfits for you guys. Oh, also check out what I did here. So this is a regular skirt, but then I pushed this ribbon in here. And now it looks like a ballet skirt, instant ballet core. I'll see you guys next week. But in the meantime, feel free to follow my Instagram and my TikTok for more daily inspo. Love you guys. Bye. You know what guys, I thought I was done, but I just saw that I also got a brown over the knee sock, which we're gonna turn into a ballet sock. I'm just so excited to style it because I have a brown top on right now. Honestly, I'm just living my best ballet princess life right now. I wish I can just like go out in this and not have people look at me weird. Like, what do you mean I'm not allowed to pick up my kid from school wearing this? I guess this can be a bonus outfit to those who stay till the very end. Oh, for those of you who are trying to look at my skirt right now, don't bother because there's lots of shorts in there. Bonus extra outfit. Okay, now I'm really saying bye. Thanks for watching. Okay, apparently you guys just can't get rid of me because I'm back with a black skirt. I definitely think black is the go-to for this outfit. This is kind of annoying me a little bit because this part is like, it keeps sliding down. It's a little bit loose here. So I thought I would take this little hair thing where you like tie it like this. 
And I'm just gonna tie it here. Scrunch it up and tie it together. Okay, what the fuck? It's like so cute. It gives it that little like rosette, like 3D roses thing going on, which is also another 2023 trend. Okay, bye for real.